Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. The humble bladder fish. We've all seen it, and we all should know by now that it's a great source of water, just as you're starting off in the game. But what else can you do with this humble fish, the humble bladder fish? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. The humble bladder fish in Subnautica Below Zero stands out to be one of the best fish in the entire game. We all know that it's a good source in able to craft filtered water because hey, you've got to remain hydrated in this game even though you're surrounded by water. But did you know it's also a good source of H2O? Going over to your fabricator, into the food menu, you can see you can actually eat the bladder fish as well and also make filtered water out of it, as we've mentioned. All that is known, all that is a given in this game. But if you are caught short and start to go a little bit low on oxygen, then if you've got some bladder fish in your inventory, then you can increase your oxygen just by consuming the humble bladder fish by 15 points. How cool is that? Each bladder fish will restore 15 points of oxygen to your character in Subnautica Below Zero. So it's not only just about the water. In addition to that though, or rather, the bladder fish is an integral part of creating the air bladder, that with a bit of silicon rubber. If you don't know how to get silicon rubber, check out my video in the cards above on how to craft silicon rubber, that gateway material. With a piece of silicon rubber in your inventory and a humble bladder fish, you can then create the air bladder. A great flotation device that will get you to the surface if you start running out of auction and you've exhausted all your bladder fish really quickly and could well save your life in the game. So there you have it, the humble bladder fish. Quite slow, easy to pick up, quite a passive fish as well. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Check out for more in the series.